，烟花爱情花，就像爱住啊。反正反正，听说讲的，听说想的，一点点点，一点点啦。That the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, O Lord, my God and my Redeemer. Amen. If you all, if you are also a fan of Star Trek, you might wonder if that if we can have the universal translator, it's much easier for us to understand each other, especially when we speak in different language. Just like last week, I used the Taiwanese as my opening prayer today, and I also read it in the English、uh, version. For the Christians, for some Christians, today is a day of Pentecost. Fifty days after Easter, Pentecost in Greek means fifty. Traditionally, the card they use the worship service today is in red. You can see to represent the scripture we have read today. The spirit was like divine tongue, as of fire, appeared among them, and the tongue rested on each of them. For Jewish people. Today, around this week, is Shabbat, one of the three important festivals people need to visit Jerusalem and the Temple. Today was occurred on the sixth day of the Hebrew month, Shabbat, a week of celebration for harvest. This is the background of the story today. On that busy day, the devout Jews from all around the country. They gather in Jerusalem for this festival. They come back from various places. They also learn the native language where they stay, and they witness what has happened in front of them. We might not be surprised that the Jews were the majority member of Jesus' followers in the very early time. Although in the New Testament, Jesus was. Constantly demonstrated as a friend of the outsider, the poor and unclean people. However, his followers always present their teacher from being touched by those people outside the, outside their circles. The Book of Acts shows us another picture of this very church-ish day in the early time. Although the members are Galilean Jews. They speak different languages on that day. It's pretty uncommon for the people from Galilee who speak only Amharic, aka Galilean, most of them, most of their lives. The surprise are twofold. For the foreign Jew, they hear their own native language from those people who supposed only know Amharic. Also for themselves, the Galileans and the friends of theirs, they were surprised too. What, what am I speaking now? It's a foreign language I never learned before. And how and where did they learn about those languages? And how could we make it, make this communication possible? The, the whole crowd feel the press. They could not dig it out. This is not what they used to be. This is not a traditional experience they that they were here. This is not their normal soul. We might still remember an old story in the book of Genesis, the tower, the tower of Babel. Babel. People at that time spoke only one language. They belonged to only one nation. One day they would like to build a tower up the sky. For themselves, to demonstrate their power, to be just like the divine. However, the divine interrupted those people's plan and scattered them from Babel to all around the world. Furthermore, the divine changed their language and tongues, and they could no longer understand each other. Some scholars told us that story was about the Babylonian Empire. Who want to unify the whole world into one kingdom in one language, and how God will eventually destroy their plan? But psychological.
much ado, the story of La Belle makes sense to us, isn't it? We like to be the people just like us. We like to speak only one language, because it's convenient, and stay where we are. It is especially true for the early followers of Jesus. They just lost their teacher and leader. They were not sure about what to do next, of who they were and who they could be in the future, and what they could do without their teacher. It's a during the transition, the time of transition. They might feel extremely fearful about the new things and changes in front of them. But it's also at a very critical moment that the new teacher, the Holy Spirit, just came down and keep his very name. Peter. Oh, we also have Peter here. Peter, one of the disciples, stood up and addressed the crowd. People quote from Prophet Job chapter 2 and indicate that God's Spirit made all these strange things happen. The prophecy indicates not only the Jew, but all flesh will receive the Spirit of God. People should prophesy, see visions, and dream dreams. And this phenomenon is beyond the limits of gender, age, race, and class. Not only to men, but also to women. In our time, I believe, the Holy Spirit also works with gender queer and non binary thoughts, just like us. Not only to the free human beings, but also to the enslaved person in various conditions. It is the glorious time of God, not only in this the harvest week for celebration, but also a new era for God's people to explore new possibilities and to figure out how can they move forward beyond their limitation. And God, the Holy Spirit, was with Peter, with the disciples, and with the devout Jews, and here are with us today. In our life's journey, we keep experiencing all kinds of transitions. We share uncertainties, fears, and unconditional incidents. But in the meantime, we also realize a new possibility is on the corner, just right there. Although it might take time for us to reach there, our church and all churches are experiencing various challenges too. We also feel afraid and anxious. It is normal, although it's not okay for us. For the first Pentecost, people gather for the harvest and celebration. Today, we should also celebrate our achievement as the harvest of our hard work. For instance, during the pandemic time, we are sure we cannot do anything but sit at home and watch the worship service on our screen. But we found a new way. Every third Wednesday, our church collects the sandwiches and deliver them to the night ministry bus. We start this ministry during the pandemic time. The sandwich will be delivered to the south side of Chicago to help people who we need. We contribute 445 second mail this year already. 925 second mail last year. And 521 sent mail in 2021, the first year we started this ministry. I was told yesterday we reopened the open breakfast, and many folks and volunteers come to serve the people in need in our community. There were about 25 folks yesterday in our fellowship hall. I wish I was there too. People on the fifth third street outside our church may feel a punishment, a punished and perplexed at the same time. Are they crazy? Are they drunk? And why and what make them to do this 
regardless of their financial situation and all the challenges they have right now. I need one of the divine tongue that poured out from the heaven enabled us to speak the language of love, the language of sharing. And that explains why and what we gather here today we share the love of God with everyone. And that is, that is only one of the many languages we can speak, we can talk. We still have so much to say, to share, to witness. For some Christians, Pentecost is the birthday of the Christian church. It is unconditional, but not out of nowhere. It is scary, but also a new possibility. People can communicate again and recognize the beautiful work of God. Our Lord Jesus Christ has promised that we should wait in Jerusalem till the Spirit of God came down and empowered us. Today, the promise has been fulfilled. May the Holy Spirit continue to inspire us and guide us every step. Amen. Mm-hmm.